Santa. Oh, you don't know, Chickadee. Oh, hi everyone. I'm Teacher Prabasha, the bird teacher. We were discussing what we are going to study today and which letter we are going to study. And he was telling me, Chikudi, he was telling me, let's study about letter Z. <gasps> Do you know what is letter Z? Yes, this is the letter Z. So we are going to study about letter Z and what sound we get from letter Z. So enjoy the lesson children and make sure to be ready with the resources. All right, see you in a minute. This is Zumato, Zumato the zebra. He's missing his little baby. So over there he's looking for his little baby. Do you like to help him to find his little baby? Yes. Come on children, let's help Zumato to find his little baby. He was searching everywhere, in the jungle, under the trees, near the rivers, everywhere. He's walking everywhere, Zumato the zebra, but still he couldn't find his little baby zebra. Where he will be? We don't know yet, but come on children, let's help him. children so you saw about this zebra right he's missing his little baby he's just over there waiting for the baby can you see him over there yes what we are going to do but what sound we hear in the beginning when you say the word zebra hmm do you know about the letter sound he doesn't know all the time. So don't worry. Let's see what is the sound we hear when you say zebra. Yes. That's zebra. Z zebra. Come on, Chikudi. Say with me. Zebra. What's the sound, children? Z zebra. Yes. The letter Z gives you z sound. Like a bee buzz. Z zebra. Okay. So we are going to help little zebra to find his baby zebra. Let's do it. You just need few things to make the little zebra. Alright children, I'll be back soon. Okay, so as we promised mommy zebra, we are going to make a baby zebra actually. To make a baby zebra at home, you need to have few things. Okay, before we start, shall we revise the sound again? Yes, that's sound. Okay, let's keep the letter over there and the things what we need. Aha, uh -huh. you have to have a potato. So we are going to use the potato as the body of the little zebra. Okay, so what are the colors you can see on a zebra's body? What are the colors? Yes, let me take the mummy zebra over here. Yes, you can see the white and black strips over there on the body of a zebra. So, to create the body of the zebra, you need to have a potato and paint over there. Yes, you have to take the two colors which is white and black. Okay, let's begin. You can use a cotton bud or you can use a paint brush. brush. Uh, to color the potato okay let's start here we go can you say the word zebra yes can you see uh-huh, this is the word zebra. So you can see the letter Z over there and the first sound you hear in the word zebra is Z, zebra, zebra. 
So the word zebra start with z sound. Okay, back to making letter. Oops, back to making little zebra over there. Okay. Oh, something is missing. We have to fix a head for the zebra. You can easily take a cut out from a uh, cardboard. Yes, you can ask your mommy to cut the shape of the zebra head. Then you can draw the eyes over there and a mouth and color it and just fix it over there like this. Okay, so let's see. Color it and fix it. We'll be back within a minute. Ta-da! Here we go. I got a small zebra which I got ready for mommy zebra. See, I fixed the body. Then I use a toothpick and I fix the head as well. I just get the small eyes and a mouth. Oh, something is missing. I had to fix the 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 legs and a tail as well. So keep ready. Keep making your little zebra for mommy zebra. Z zebra Z. So after making let little zebra, what can be the next work we are going to do? The next activity we are going to make a design on the letter Z. Remember the sound Z. Yes, you can take a small cutout of le letter Z. Here we go. I will show you to you. It's like this. Yeah, and you can place the finger on top of it. Mm -hmm. Go this way, go this way, and stop over here. Z -z -z. One more time. Mm -hmm. This way, and go this way. Say the sound. Z -z -z. Okay, so we're gonna do a little creative activity. I mean, the creative thing on top of letter Z. You need to have your favorite paint, yes, and a half of a potato, like this way. So you have to dip the potato in the paint and you just have to tap it, like this, okay? Make sure, oops, sorry, make sure to take a very bright color. So let's see how we're going to finish it. Hey children, we are back. So we finished the letter Z doing a design on top of it. Now it's time to do something with the kitchen equipments. Come on, run to your kitchen and take any container or a cup or even a plate from the kitchen. I got my one of my container. What we are going to do on top of it? Uh -huh. Ta -da! Yes. We are going to make a zigzag design on top of the container. So, zigzag. When you say zigzag, you can hear the z sound. Zig, z. Then zag, z. Zigzag. All right. The word be here. Take your favorite paint. I like red color. Here we go. Let me open it. Yeah. Take your wet brush or a cotton bud even you can use and do the zigzag design on top of it. How you do the zigzag? Go up, then down. Zigzag, 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 zigzag. You can do more. Come on, do it. Again, zigzag, zigzag. Zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig. One more time, everybody. Do you know any other words start with sound? Yes, how it looks like. Well done, that's a zero. When you say zero, zero, it start with z sound zero z zero yes zero
Okay, I got ready with my writing board. If you don't have a writing board, again, yes, obviously you can use a box, a waste paper even to write. So I'm going to select my favorite pen. I will take the blue color and we are going to write the letter Z, the sound which is Z inside the lines. How 